Hey everyone, and welcome back. And today we're going to be reviewing the Banquet uh, Salisbury Steak Meal. And yes, I know I've done this in the past, but this time I went to the Dollar Tree and I picked this up for a dollar. See if I can get this uh, real close here. But now with mac and cheese, it is Salisbury Steak, uh, Salisbury Steak Patty with gravy and macaroni and cheese. And this is what it looks like. And this is what the back looks like. Hopefully you can see that there. I'm using a different camera this time. I can't really focus. And that's what this looks like. And the instructions read slit film to vent. Microwave on high for two minutes. And stir macaroni and cheese and replace the film. Microwave an additional one and a half to two minutes. And then check that the food temperature is ready. You can also use a conventional oven. But I always use a microwave oven. But let's go ahead and pop this open. And yes, I know it's been a while since the last time I made a video. And a lot of things have changed since the last time I made a video. Um, I have a different camera this time. I'm using a SJ4000 action camera. And uh, that's what this looks like. And here we can see the meal. That's the macaroni and cheese. And that right there is the Salisbury steak. So we're just going to cut a slit here and here. So let me just get a knife out. Hopefully that's not overkill with the... Uh, with the uh, knife here, I'm trying to do this one-handed. There we go, just like that, and just like that. And let me just double-check the instructions here. It does say microwave on high for two minutes, and then an additional two minutes. That's what I'm going to be doing. Take this on over to my microwave here. Let's stick that in there. And we're going to set this for two minutes. So, two, zero, zero. Double check on that. There she goes. Alright, so now it's ready. We're going to go ahead and pull this out. And so, it says to stir the macaroni and replace the film. So what I'm going to do here is just remove the film, just like that, and I'm going to get myself a spoon here and just stir the macaroni because it's starting to cake on the sides. So just give it a nice good stir. I didn't say anything about removing the um, film from the Salisbury steak, but I'm just going to leave it on just for safety. And that's it right there. And replace the film, just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and place it in the microwave for another two minutes. It says one and a half or half a minute to uh, two minutes. But I'm going to do a full two minutes just to be safe. And two, zero, zero, start. And there she goes for another two minutes. So it just finished. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull it out. And we're going to take the film off right here so I can dispose of it right away. And the sink will do for now. And this is what the meal looks like. There's a macaroni. It's already steaming the lens up. But there is the steak there. We all know what that tastes like. You know it's my favorite. And the macaroni and cheese. Now I did get this at the Dollar Tree. But I'm going to be giving you more details in just a second. So hang on for that. So here is the meal. We just saw what the meal looks like. It looks very, very delicious. And now we're going to try this. Now this is my second time trying it because the first time my camera bugged out on me and it didn't work. But here we are going to try this one more time. It doesn't really bother me that I get to try this one more time because this is a very, very good meal. And this is what this one looks like. That's the macaroni and cheese there. I love the texture of the macaroni. It's nice and firm. And I also love how cheesy it is. Every bite you take is extremely cheesy. And there's another shot of it there, but it's very, very good. I actually love this macaroni and cheese, and I would prefer to pay a dollar for a meal like this with macaroni and cheese than to buy the macaroni and cheese that you have to cook yourself, because that, I can never get it right. Or make it on my own, I can never get it right. But this right here is really good. Mmm. It's very delicious here, and I'm going to wash this down with my drink here. So we can move on to the next part.
part of the meal, which is the Salisbury steak. Now, we all know what the Salisbury steak tastes like because we've reviewed it in the past, but after trying this one, I feel like this one's a little bit thicker, in a, like thicker than the one you get at your local grocery store. I don't know if it's just me. That's what that looks like. And it's actually very, very delicious. It's just like your average um, Salisbury steak. It's very, very delicious. And I would recommend this meal for anyone that wants to try banquet meals. Because for a dollar, you can't really go wrong with this one. You can't go wrong with it. And it's, since it's only a dollar, you got not, not much to lose except a dollar, which is just a dollar. <laughs> compared to what you pay for at the other ones and they did have different ones at the Dollar Tree they had uh, I think uh, chicken nuggets with fries and then they had meatloaf with some other thing I didn't see I didn't pick any of those up because I just wanted to try this one but next time I go I do plan on getting uh, the other two and just reviewing those because these of course are different than the ones that they sell at the grocery store these are just two two part meals they're just uh, the meat or the main course and then a side dish and if you go to the grocery store it's always the main course a side dish and a dessert that comes with your meal of course they're a little more expensive compared to the dollar I paid for this but if you want to go the extra mile you can't get the ones at the grocery store I don't think there should be any difference in flavor the Salisbury steak tastes exactly the same as the grocery store one so if you want to go ahead and try that out without losing a two dollars I think is what they charge then you can go ahead and get this one instead and it's very good I do recommend it I am going to finish this, so I'm going to leave you guys here. Thank you all for watching. See you all in the next video.